What's up guys, Beast Nanko 6 with the Durnitz Elite Flotilla. Uh, today we're going to talk about the RAOBF wheel. What that stands for is range and angle on the bow finder. It actually does more things than just that, but I'm going to explain uh, just the primary basics of this, this particular wheel here, this gray wheel around my um, periscope. Uh, what it is is that during the day the Germans had prism statimeters in the World War I. It was a very big piece of machinery. And in World War II, the Germans were looking to produce U-boats at a high rate and at cheaper of a cost. So they needed room. They couldn't put prism statimeters in all of their boats. So they came up with simple devices. This is one of them. And this is a really, really good tool. It's a little confusing because there's uh, these numbers will change meanings over time depending on what calculation you're doing. But let me just introduce it to you. It's uh, one moving part and, and one fixed part. The outer ring and the inner ring do not move. The middle ring does move. Okay. The outer ring represents two measurements. Length of the ship, so like 94.8 would be what, like right here. And it also means mass of the ship. In the case of this tanker, which I've already identified, 26.6. So it would be like 1, 2, 25, 26.6 right over here. Okay, so this will represent the length of the ship and the mast height. The inner ring is your angle on the bow. You can see 90 degrees, it goes down to 25, 15. The inner ring, which moves, has two numbers on it. Now, the, the one closest to the inner ring, this one right here, as you can see me moving my mouse, represents tick marks on your periscope. And also, it will later on represent speed, which I will explain uh, after. The top number represents range, okay, times 100, so whatever number it is times 100. And it can also represent time. So if you're looking to range, you know, calculate ship, the ship speed, um, this will turn into a speed calculator. But when you're first ranging, it turns into range. And then it will go into speed. It sounds confusing because, like I said, these numbers change their meanings. Meanings. How to use a wheel? You have to be at your fullest optimized um, um, your optics. So if you're six times or like in Magwise uh, final, this one here it goes to 12. So I have to go. Um, I have to zoom in further. Okay. So let's, let's zoom in further, and I'll show you uh, the basics. Now, how it works is this. The first thing we want to do is we want to find the range. That's step one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure all my tick marks. I have about 6.5. What I'll do is I'll find 6.5 right about here, and I'm going to move it to the top of the disc right here. Okay, I'm going to do that right now. So it's 6.5. And it has nothing to do with the AOB. It just you just put it right at the top of the 90 here. Just this little mark right here. That's just just part of the procedure. So don't even worry about the AOB numbers. I'm gonna look at the mast height, 26.6, 25.6.6, right about here. And if I you remember, I told you this is your range now. So 25.6.6. So it's about 15, 15, 16, 17, 18. It's just about 1850, so it's about 1850 as far as the range goes, okay? That, that would be your range at that moment in time. So here's the next thing. We're, gonna, we're going to find the ship's length down here, 94.8, and we're going to take that range, and we're going to click and hold the click on the wheel, on the inner wheel, and we're going to drag it to 94.8. So let's do that now. I'll show you. So about twice right here. I'm going to drag it. Okay, simple. I dragged it up here. All right, now we're going to figure out the AOB. We know the range is about 1850. Now we have to measure the boat. So let's do that. We measure the boat with the bottom horizontal tick marks. Okay, uh, just for notes, um, it, when you click on the periscope to move it, and this is down, it will automatically pop up. The numbers stay the same. They don't change just because you, you, you pop up and down. So let's see, 5, 6, 7, 8 times 2. It's about 16. It's about 16 marks across. So I'm going to look for 16. And we're just under 45 degrees. That's your AOB. See the tick marks? So you got 16. Like I said, Five, six, seven, eight, 
8 and 8 is 16, and that's what you're doing. You're counting. 16 right here. About 40, a little under 45, maybe what? 43. So it's 40, 43 degrees uh, starboard. That is your AOB. Now here's the next part. Here's the bonus. We're going to talk about speed. So as I've taught you how to do speed manually, you could do it with the AOB wheel, the RAOB wheel too. So when the ship's bow touches the vertical line, start the clock. And when the stern passes it, we'll stop the clock. Here we go. Kontakt, Frachter, entfernt sich auf 276. Geringe Entfernung. Stop the clock is about 25 seconds. So uh, if you remember my calculations, it's the length of the ship divided by time times 1.852, blah, blah, blah. But in this wheel, all you got to do is you got to find the length of the ship, 94.8, which is again right here. And this, this upper numbers, which represented range before, now represents time. So here's 25 seconds. I'm going to take 25 seconds. I'm going to move it over to 94.8, right about here. Okay, let me do that right now. Now, there's little red marks on this periscope, um, or on this, this wheel. I don't know what the X stands for. There is something you can do with this. I don't know it offhand. Um, it is in the documentation for, for um, OLC. OLC Mark II has um, a documentation on it. But this one here, and this may not be a red S. It might be just a mark or a scratch mark on it. This is your speed. This is where the speed is. Now, this is the Naval Academy and the, t the tanker is always going at about seven knots. It shows here almost seven and a half, so that's pretty darn close. And that's your speed calculation. I hope this helps, guys. Um, if you have any questions, PM me, or if you're going on YouTube to find this video, send a comment.